How's it going? Thomas Decker here from GuitarRevolution.ca and I'm here because I want to help you to become the best guitar player you can ever be. Doesn't matter if you're just starting out or if you already play guitar, you want to get to the next level, this channel is for you. And this video here is going to be a little noisy, okay? My kids are here, one of my kids is sick so he didn't go to school and uh, he has ADHD. And I have five kids by the way, Never. I don't know if I told you this before. I have five kids. One of them is here. Three of them are here, actually. Um, so it's going to be a little noisy. Sorry about that. But hey, I think I can still uh, go on and, you know, make a helpful vi video here for you, for things that you can apply right away. And I'm going to be talking about double steps. Double stops. Okay. How you can implement double steps, double stops into your playing in any genre very in a very simple and practical way double stops is something that i've been playing man for a pretty long time i know it's pretty trendy right now with these uh new soul and you know all this new it's it, it's part of the modern guitar vocabulary right if you may this video here will help you to to get them going in a very simple way okay 90% of my videos here are, are based around the pentatonic scale. Well, this is not going to be different. We're going to use the pentatonic scale as our source, okay, our, our foundation. It's the core of our playing for soloing, improvising chords. I made a video a few weeks ago. I did a, a live about that. It was cool, very cool, cool responses how to play the chords with inside the pentatonic. Now, let's do the double stops, okay? Very simple. I'm gonna zoom in, then I'm gonna break it down for you, and then I'm gonna play a few examples like you saw in the intro of this video, okay? I'm gonna go from genre to genre, just trying to implement what I'm teaching you here into the different genres and different keys as well. So, pay attention and I'm pretty sure you can start playing this by Friday. You'll be playing double stops like crazy, even by tonight. It's not hard at all. It's very simple and very practical. Let's get to it. All right, here we have a closer look at my fretboard. Um, the intro, let me talk about the intro, was a, uh, the backing track was in E, sorry, in A. Okay, A, E, and D. Of course, a little bit more elaborated than this, but um, that's the main idea. And let me see. Okay, first thing you're gonna do when the key is A major, pinky over the root, right? And play the pentatonic. If I play the pentatonic with the finger one over the root, that's for A minor. If I play with the pinky, that will give me the A major pentatonic. Okay, we have this shape here. And we can play the octave of this. So second fret after the second, the two, dot, two dotted fret, right? So here I have the same shape. Just an octave higher, right? Okay, we're gonna be phrasing. Blues note. Right? And 
the double stop will be found right here on my pinky on the string E and B. Okay, right here we can have a, a double stop. And this is my favorite one, okay? I have my pinky, but I use my finger one. So I have these two notes and I hammer my finger two, finger three, sorry, on uh, two, two frets up. I still think of a pentatonic here, right? Just using these two notes. So I throw my finger three right there. And I can play like this. Right? Or I can play like this. Right? From here, I'm gonna use this note here, but I'm gonna put my finger two there. And my finger one and three right here. So. So these two notes is from here, right? Okay, so. And then I go back, finger one on the E, on the G and D string. And then I'm gonna hammer my finger three on the B, on the D string. And keep on going. Okay, so. E and D. B and G, G and D, D and A. If I go an octave higher, it will be the same thing. Take a look. Okay, I'm ending here, so I'm gonna put my finger one there. And I can use my finger two here if it is too squishy for you to use your finger three. I like to use finger three, I don't know why. Exactly the same thing. This is a good uh, way too. You can think of chord A, right? It's just the bottom of it. Wherever you find the chord, the major chord right there. So I'm going back and forth, right? You can play all together. whatever right but those are the notes you can create whatever you like with those notes octave higher here I have my E uh, sorry A chord E shape and the pentatonic right here so the high notes here And one, he, one thing here, I can go, so here I'm using E and B strings, B and G, G and D, D and A, and here I can go one more back, one fret behind where the pentatonic was and do A and E. Here I can do like open string if we want. But it's not very common to use that. So that's regarding this shape here, right? I can use it if you if you want. And regarding the octave of it. Right? Now we can also do the shape of the root on the A string. So if I do with finger one, that's gonna be A minor. So I'm gonna use the finger four. So that's A major. Okay, same idea, okay? I'm gonna go all the way to the 
end of the of the shape I'm gonna use this note and this note exactly same thing but then instead of using this note here for the second double stop I'm gonna put my finger two right here on this note of the pentatonic okay so there's this jump here of uh, fret and then I go up right and then here I go back so it's a little different but the beginning is very similar right here and then I go back to this note of the pentatonic because it goes here right? then go up a string so E and B B and G this is the chord A right here then G and B G and D sorry Okay, so here I'm inside the shape. Now for E and D, A and D, I go back. Okay, and A and E as uh, back as well. So there we go. A, E and B, B and G, G and D. D and A, and I'm always hammering on the string ab uh, that is above, right? A and E. Okay, now let me put a backing track here. So I'm gonna go through a few different genres, few different keys here without, uh, without announcing, okay? But I'm gonna try to uh, say what's going on here between those backing tracks. I think the first one's gonna be in B minor. Let me see, and there we go. So B minor, gonna use this pentatonic right here. So, yeah, B minor here, double stops. Sounds good, right? Now, the shape with the A on the root A. And it's just part of it. Right? Oh, this is the A, the, the intro that I use in the intro. So, right, the tonic right here. Okay, and the double stops here. This is a kind of rock, blues, and E. Rock, blues, pentatonic, minor. So, right here. Right, and right here. Right here. Root and A on the A string. Rope right here. Open string, take a look. Very 
Very cool. Next one, blues in C. Okay, pentatonic right here. And blues, we can use major and minor pentatonic, by the way. Okay, pentatonic. Root on C, on A string. Right? Major pentatonic, take a look. Right here, right? Blues is cool, you can use major and minor. Okay, next is a C major. C major, okay. Pink, uh, pinky over the root. Right here, right? Exaggerating here, of course, right? But you can always throw on your phrase. Anyways, and so on, so on. So there you go, there you have it. Um, here I was throwing the two shapes over the major, over the minor. Uh, take your time. Don't do like that, okay? I was just trying to show, make a point that, yes, you can use this all over the place. But when you come for you to learn and practice this, go over major on the same key and keep practicing that. And then go a different key or minor and practice that. Listen to what you're playing. Listen to the notes you're using. Just don't throw like I'm doing here because I was just trying to make a point, okay? I uh, hope you understand that. And also try different genres, right? Uh, don't stick with just one genre. Try different genres. For example, like I said, blues, you can use the major and the minor. And you know, double stops is only one of the things that I teach as a main tool, one of the main tools for every lead guitarist. If you want to become a real lead guitarist, this is one of the tools that you need to master. Double stops, sixths, uh, thirds, uh, improvising, soloing, um, creating layers of guitars, you know, techniques like expression techniques and control techniques, blues, and so on, keeps on going and going, number system, right? There's so many things that we can learn on guitar, but I, I see that there are eight main tools that it repeats themselves, like again and again and again. Every time I'm playing, every time I see someone playing, I can recognize these tools like as, as the core of a lead guitar play. These tools I have separated for you on a list, okay, on a guide. It's my 30-day lead guitar jumpstart guide, where the goal is for the next 30 days for you to start using, start practicing, start learning these tools and, you know, put into practice right away in a very practical way like this video here. So all you need to do is click the link below and sign up and I'll send that free PDF for you. And I don't have only the list there for you, but I also have the lessons for you to follow, to watch, to learn and develop your skills, okay? And it's completely free, just click below and I'll send to your inbox and there you can start developing these main tools. I just noticed my mic is showing here. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click and to download the, the 30 day lead guitar jumpstart in the next uh, 30 days. Your guitar playing can be improved a lot. Come on, get out of there. Okay. 
And again, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was significant for your playing. And I hope to see you in the next lesson. See you then.